What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a really cool Instagram intro. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is, of course, screenshot an Instagram uh, page or picture. We're going to go, we're working right now with four seconds. So we're going to increase this to about 10. We're going to press Command C to copy the you know the actual layer we have selected go to the end and paste that and drag it below the same picture pretty much and then we're gonna go ahead and mask this out so before we do that we're gonna select the bottom image or the bottom layer and we're going to increase the scale so go into transform go to scale all or click this button here increase this all the way up so it fits the frame like this click done okay so this just fits the whole uh, image into the frame now we're gonna go ahead and cut this out by masking it out so go into the effects go to all video and type in in the search type in mask click draw mask and drag that on top of that clip and then we're gonna go and click on each of these corners holding down shift so it stays in a straight line and click here and then you're gonna have this now it's only gonna mask out the actual photo but we don't want that we want to invert it so go into the effects go to draw mask go to invert mask and click on this button there now it's going to pretty much mask out everything except that we've selected here so if you want to add some more we can get rid of this top t-mobile thing and this over here drag this again onto the same clip and we're going to click here hold down shift and click this and we might have to change the size here so go like this uh, maybe shift i like to hold down shift and then click there okay and then we're also going to invert the mask so now we have this okay go and drag another draw mask and then we're going to go into fit here and we're going to click here hold shift and then we're going to go back to 25 and just click there and there so then invert this one as well like that now all we have to do is hide all of these okay which are our draw masks then we're going to go to the transform and we're going to increase the scale okay, so once we've done that we're going to actually scale this up all the way go in here just because i think it's easier and increase the scale a lot sweet so now we have this going on all right guys so we're going to add a drop shadow so go into effects go to stylize and go to drop shadow and drag that on top of this clip here then we're going to drag this up like this so it's just in underneath this bit there and we're going to change some of this stuff here and leave it like that so we're just decreasing the opacity then we're going to hide that one as well and hide that sweet so now we have this going on so the next thing we need to do is well we need to animate this so we're going to start adding our keyframes all right guys so the next thing we need to do is to actually animate this so it's very easy the first thing you want to do is make sure that the time head is at the very beginning click this little kind of square icon to go into the transform tool then we're going to press this diamond looking icon to add our first keyframe now we want to go our around third i don't know like 30 frames yeah 30 frames per second uh, the reason we do this is because we chose in the project properties when we created the project we chose 30 so if you want a more natural look i would go with 30 frames uh, and that obviously makes it a lot more natural and it's not as fast or too slow so now we're going to click on this again and we're going to drag so click and drag up just a little bit if it doesn't do it just leave it how it is sweet so now we have this let go once uh you know you see the whole frame then go ahead and go a couple of seconds in so you can see the actual photo and then for another second or so we're gonna do this again so click and drag and hold shift and you're gonna see this little red tool or like line coming up and that means we're actually uh, moving this so we're gonna keep moving this all the way up if you need to go back to 25 percent and then do it this way so this way makes it a lot easier and i'm gonna do something like this I guess that's not straight so something like this and let go there okay and click done you're gonna have something that looks like that and then it's gonna come in a little bit fast if you want that to slow down just change go like around a half so you would do about once uh, one second and a half and that would make it slower but in this case I don't want to do that 
So I'm just gonna leave it how it is, I'll give it a couple of seconds. And then around the three second mark, this is where I want to add our white background so that we can then add the image of Marla or Marla Catherine. Uh, she's a really cool YouTuber, Instagrammer. Um, and I just chose her just because I think she just posts some really cool photos. I don't know. So then I'm going to go into the text and generators, go to generators and go to the bottom and go to whites, drag this here. And then we, from here, we want to go and cut this and this. So use the blade tool by pressing B click here and there, and that will allow you to split the clips. Once you've done that, we're going to change the color here in the inspector tab, go to color and go to bright white. So now we can match the color of the Instagram post and we're going to click this transform button again, and we're going to drag this down. Okay. So we're going to drag this all the way down about here. Okay. What I like to do is I like to work with these little increments so that it kind of matches along with the keyframes that we added in the beginning. So before we do that, we're going to select this one here and we're going to add another frame. So we're going to click this button here and we're going to add another keyframe. So click plus to add the, the an another keyframe. Then we're going to go about a couple more seconds in around here, another second, drag this up again, holding down shift. So I don't know. So let's say it's proportional or you can just not make it proportional. And then I'm going to go all the way up. So it's out of the frame like that. And then now if I push play, it's going to look something like this. Okay. And if that's too fast, then go ahead and click on this and using these left and right arrow keys, these will allow you to see a before and after. So I'm going to do half a sec, one, one and a half seconds. And then I'm going to drag this all the way up around here. So now if I go back and I push play, it's going to look something like that. It's, an, it's a lot slower and it's a lot smoother. So we're going to go and drag this back down. I just wanted to make this bigger and you'll see why. And I'm going to add the keyframe here while it's, while it's still at the beginning. I'm going to go and drag, you know, skim through the video. And once this is over around here, I'm going to then drag this up like that. We're going to drag this up a little bit. You can see that there's a little gap here. So we're going to drag this up and make sure this is perfectly aligned. So now if I push play, we don't have that like border or like space in between or that gap. So now it should be perfect. So just align it perfectly in the bottom, then go around one and a half seconds or until this is over and then align this back to the top. So once you guys are done with that, we're going to then do the same thing with the image or Marla Catherine's picture. So we're going to go into here. All right, guys. So the next thing we need to do is to actually add uh, the image into the intro. So to do that simple, uh, go to the image that you want. In this case, I chose Marla Catherine, as you can't already tell by the tutorial. And then once we've done that, we're going to go to the generators by clicking over here and go to shapes, drag the shapes below the image. Okay. So something like that. Okay. And make sure that this starts in the beginning like that. And then from here, we're going to go to shapes and we're going to actually click on, click on the image first and go to the um, effects here, go to masks and go to image mask and drag that on top of the image. The reason we're doing this is so that the image fits within the shape mask or within the shape, which is a circle. So we're going to click on the mask source in the image mask, click on this button and select this layer here, which is the shapes layer, click on it and click apply clips. You can move this up like that and we can do something like this if we really wanted to. Sweet. So once we've made our changes here in the offset mask, we're going to hide that one and we're going to go to the blade tool, cut this end here and delete it. So now we have this going on. Okay. So we're going to group these two together by pressing option or alt and then G on the mat or on the keyboard. And I'm going to just type in photo and I'm click on okay. So now we have this. Okay. So we're going to change the size here before we do anything else. So I'm just go here and I'm going to move this down. It's not going to be exactly in the middle because we changed the offset here, but that is completely fine. I'm going to move this. I'm going to make this smaller than the, than I did in the beginning of the tutorial and I'm going to go there. Okay. So click done. So now we're going to animate this again and it's actually more easy than it was before. So, we're going to click this button here and we're going to just drag this down You can hold down shift so it doesn't move and make sure that this aligns here like that. 
And then we're going to add our keyframe by clicking this button here. And we're going to, it's going to go up like this. We're going to wait until this, all this text is gone or out of the frame completely like that. And then we're going to hold down shift and click. And we're going to move this around here. Honestly, it doesn't really matter, but once you let go, that completes the whole path for the keyframe. So I'm going to go around, uh, I don't know, like here, and I'm going to click done. So now if I go back and I push play, it's going to look something like this. Okay, so if it's not perfect, as you can see, go ahead and change when, you know, your, the timing of when you let go to end the keyframe for the image. Um, sometimes that can be a bit tricky. So once you've done that, we're going to then do our text. So we're going to go back to the titles and generators, go to titles, and I'm going to go to basic title, and I'm going to drag this above the image, and I'm going to cut this down as well by pressing B and deleting it. So then I'm going to change the text here to something like, uh, let's see, once it loads here, because the text is so slow, the computer is so slow. I'm going to change this to her name. So I'm going to do Marla and I'm going to select her name and the font I'm going to do is Helvetica new. The font is going to be bold and the size, I'm just leaving that how it is. I'm going to go to face and I'm going to change the color here to a tannish, a tannish pink. So once we've done that, we're doing the same exact thing. So we're going to move the text completely out of the frame. We're going to go all the way down. I don't know around here. And then I'm going to the plus icon and I'm going to move this around here. Once this stops moving, then I'm going to drag this up holding shift like so. So let's see what that looks like. Just play sweet. Perfect. That looks a lot better. All right. So now we're going to go back to fit. So now if I go and push play, that is what the text is going to look like or the intro. Then from here, you're honestly pretty much done. The only thing you need to do is add the VHS overlay and some music. I'm going to drag this above everything else. I'm going to go into the blend mode and I'm going to change this to hard light. And if you guys want that motion, moving motion thing, select everything and then go to effects. Then you're going to go into... I think it's stylized and then go into the handheld effect and that will add that will give you the handheld or movement effect. So now if I go back and I push play, this is what it's going to look like. It looks pretty dope in my opinion and it makes it look really hipsterish, I guess. And with the music, it looks a lot, a lot nice. I think it looks really cool. So if I drag this here, this is what the effect will look like once you guys are completely finished with the intro. <laughs> And of course, you would add your transitions here to uh, fade this off. So if you guys found this tutorial helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like, guys. That would be awesome. Subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.